Mia called in and asked, how can I send my live production to an iMag in a church, school, or live event? But you see those two screens on the side? That's the iMag. That's when you have a live screen playing at the same time as, say, the band, the preacher, the speaker is on the stage. Now, one of the problems that people running iMag have is that there's a delay. It makes for a very confusing watch. People in the audience don't like it. So if you're feeding an overflow room, no one knows that you're off a little bit. But, you know, if the preacher does this and the iMag does this a couple seconds later, it throws people off. It doesn't make for a fun viewing experience. So a lot of the mixers we sell have a pass-through. And that pass-through you pick for one camera that you can run on your iMag. So you could be producing a show that's a multi-camera show with graphics and all this cool stuff, but you can usually pass through one input to the output with no delay for iMag. The other thing is, is when you're in a world, and that like Epifan will do that and other people will, but one of the things that Bird Dog and New Tech are doing is with full NDI versus NDIHX, there's very low latency. And we do have people using Bird Dog Studios, and Bird Dog Minis in conjunction with Bird Dog uh, PTZ cameras and new tech uh, TriCasters to deliver iMag with a nominal, nominal, barely noticeable dis delay in what's going on. So once again, you gotta go full NDI. NDI HX brings in a little bit longer delay, but in a full NDI world, you can do it. And with the Epifan mixers like the Pearls, those have straight video pass-through, so you can take it through, as do a lot of the roll-in mixers as well.